Hey guys, going to play Delta Room for play it's a PlayStation 2 game. I'm in my grandpa's study. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Um, some clowns. I think that's a portrait of him. <clears throat> Big ol' clock. Oh hey, someone's here. And I'll be... You know, I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat. Just finished Undertale last night. Pacifist Run. Hey Dennis, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. I'll, I'll actually give you the option. Are you just going to be looking at me the entire time, or are you going to be looking at Delta Room, Del uh, Dennis? It's your your choice. You just gave me a thumbs up. So neither here nor there. All right. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll I'll just describe, I'll narrate everything that's happening to the audience because I want to get uh, sued. All right. So it's called survey program, and I already know that that's like a trick. I know that's like a meta joke and it's as asking me are we connected so it's like this this program's haunted and then there's the little undertale heart the undertale heart is the main character of the undertale series now we may Begin. Begin. Oh shit, this is Dr. Evolution. They just ripped off Dr. Evolution. I actually think Timmy Chin is, uh. Oh no. So I pressed Alt Enter and it didn't center the screen. Oh, am I gonna have to play this windowed? I might have to play this windowed. I'll show you. You know, this wasn't a commercial release, so they didn't, they didn't dot all the T's, cross all the I's, if you know what I'm talking about. So, Delta Rune is just going to be this for me. Real, I'm not going to be immersed. I'm not going to immerse you either. So do I accept it? Yeah, I accept it. I'm playing the game. Excellent. Let's begin. You have created a wonderful forum. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? So this is Ultima 4. What is my favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, and cold. Dennis, what's your favorite food? Sweet. Soft, sour, salty, pain, or cold? Or is Dennis even listening? So I'm taking a poll from the one possible. Salty. Oh. Oh, actually, well, if this is Dr. Evolution, my favorite food is sour. Oh, so sour. What is your favorite blood type? I love my blood type. Why isn't O on here? There's A, A, B, B, C, D. I have O. What color does it like most? 
My mom just called me to make sure that she knew that she got home safely. Alright. Let's continue. Dennis, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, green, or cyan? Check, uh, green. Please give it a gift. What about determination? I'm gonna say voice. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Aww. I love it. Have you answered honestly? Yeah, sure. What are, these questions aren't, you know, not gonna lie about any of this stuff. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Yeah, sure. Understood. Name your vessel. I'll call it Dennis because he's not here anymore. So Dennis is the name of this character that I'll be playing with for the next three hours. We called it Dennis. And what about the creator? What's the Tyler, the creator? <laughs> I wonder if there's an easter egg if you say Tyler the Creator. Excellent. Truly excellent. Tyler. Thank you. For your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Oh, I should have named him Goblin. That's such a good name will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Yo, Toby Fox is my god. Toby Fox is god. Oh, my name is not Chris. Chris, if you, oh, sweet, look at this. Milk. Ooh, goat milk. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Sweet, sweet goat milk. I will wait outside for you, all right? <sighs> the drawer is mostly empty except for the school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. There are CDs under the bed, classical, jazz, religious, ska. Oh, man. Toby Fox knows how to jam. He also has a game console. It has one normal controller, one knockoff one. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. It's a beautiful day outside. Clothes drawer. Your bed. What if I read all of this like Lee Ronaldo from Sonic Youth? It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. You know, this is all just spoken word. It's stained. I walk down into the living room. I turn right. I look at the books. There are many books. Tales of snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tales, a scientific refutation. Can snails help you garden? Mm, not really. An assigned copy of History of Humans and Monsters by Garson Boom. Garson Boom? A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. It's only you, you say as you look in the mirror. This door is locked. You go down the hallway to the right. Oh, can we talk about this? So you move up, if you hold up, if you move up, you hold up. 
I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just talking about that for a minute. Okay, so I move up, move down. I go to the left. I'm in the bathroom. You look inside the sink, covered. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. It's a toilet. Flush it. Yes. Flush the toilet. On the sour ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo. In a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Yeah, what if I read all this like Tim Rogers in that cowboy voice? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove top. Cookie cutters of gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's a chair well, the beloved living room chair. It's a TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it, says your hot milf mom. Chris, it's a beautiful day today. Is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. How does this game... Oh, but I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? How does it impar compare to Ultima 4? Well, it's cute. It's cute. It's fucking... Does Ultima 4 have as many MILFs as this game? Some little furry MILFs? I don't think so. A um, little furry MILF blushing while taking me into the university. And she hugs me, presses her biggest MILF tease into my face. I don't know, have you played Ultima 4? Dennis. Oh, and then it's that nerdy ass character from the first game. So does everyone, anyone have a, and then you enter the classroom, you look around. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects of this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature's images, and really an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. <laughs> An animated schoolwork, and <laughs> hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Fucking your teacher's looking at hentai. Nice. This is still Lee Ronaldo. Hi, my name's Lee Ronaldo. Hey, Chris, what up? <laughs> Did you lose your pencil again? Says a little, uh, dear girl. Here, you want a candy cane or uh, one with the light on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Oh, Brady already asked me, but I can ask, ask Miss F F F F S S F S if you can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Uh huh. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you could ask. Are there an even amount of students in the classroom? No. One of them doesn't have a partner. Hankin. This is a little cat girl. Chris, you know Jockin and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo. 
ever since our first gym class. It was a hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she just used me instead. <laughs> That's the origin of the story. Said the snake boy. Uh, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your, 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 your unique skill set might help a lot in this assignment. <laughs> Not, I actually want to get an A. Wow, so this, this voice is actually accurate for about half of the characters in this game so far. Chris, I'm uh, very sorry. Does Tim already have a partner? Oh, is it Temmy in this freaking game? Oh, it's an egg. It's a black and white hard boiled egg. It's sadly, seems like it already has a partner. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy, haha. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. That's that, like, oh boy you kill in the first game. Partner, I'm. I hardly know her. Ha ha ha, what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Oh, these characters are mean. I'll be. It's my only option is the three people group. Um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No. I do not approve of this. Abort. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Well, what are you saying? She was just saying, we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just want to know if... No, can you please speak up? Oh shit, fucking... Susie comes into class looking fly. Mm -hmm. Am I late? Oh no, you're fine. We, we just, uh... Ch choosing partners for... The next group project and um Susie you're with, you're with Chris mm -hmm. great and now that everyone's here I'll write the assignment uh has anyone seen the chalk this is the third time it's gone missing and you all know that I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone, p please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I? Good idea. Noelle, Susie, since you came in last, why don't you get it for me. So this is when the game starts to begin a dungeon game. And C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks Chris. See you later. <sighs> I guess this is where the adventure begins. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. And then you come outside, you look around. Oh man, that, that kid just fucking ate the chalk. Whole exclamation point over his head. It says, Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. <laughs> you can't even say. Chris. Oh man. This is spooky. Hey. Puts his hand on my shoulder. Let me tell you a secret. White people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This is her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. 
You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste of time to get expelled for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? Oh, so Susie's gonna, like, beat me up? About losing your face. She goes fucking fangs. And then she stops. Nah. Cause you've got a good mother. <laughs> oh, wow. Susie's in the milfs. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. Wow, that was cool. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. In this game, let's go freak. This game was written by a genius. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? <laughs> at this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Me too. Every time I go to a dance, I just screech at, screech at people touching each other. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Oh shit, there's a water fountain. You drink from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know, says Susie. Chris, what? Realize the baby classroom was better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Wrong way, Chris. God, you can walk any slower or what? Now I get it. Not used to walking around with someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Well, this game is really hardcore. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We're just starting to have fun. Susie looks worried. Hey, Chris, is it me or... It's really dark in there. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Yeah, sure. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. I don't remember Undertale being so scripted like this. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You think we'd have reached the end by now? Yeah, sure. Hey, Chris. I think it's closets uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Oh, and then you get trapped in the closet. Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Papers on the floor start shaking. The floor, it's. And they fall down into the abyss. And then the real game begins. Did you combine? 
you combine with this person? Are you someone name? You're so Chris, you look quite different. At times you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and you save the file. These little uh, bubbly daubs for walking back and forth at you. It's too dark to see anything. Kinda looks like you, man, Nikki. Oh man, if you hold shift, you can run. Is that in the other game? God, I really, really wish it were. Oh man, this is pretty cool. So, is it the battle start when those balls collide with you? What happens if I get hit by those? You bathe your body in the light. A power shines with you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. So, save. This land, only eyes blinded by darkness, can see the way. Little sparkly things in the... Oh, and then I have to... Uh, Do a little puzzle. Mm -hmm. I got a glow shard. I kind of am just curious what happens if I collide with one of those things. I wonder if I go into a battle or if I get injured. Mechanic though. It's kind of hard to get hit. Oh, I just lose health. Uh, it's pretty cool. There are these piles of breathing dust that if you touch them, they like evaporate. Shadowy figure just ran away from me. Hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Oh, it's easy. Chris, phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> Anyways, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Oh, I thought I was like a different person because my color palette looked different. Where is here anyways? Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. <laughs> what, you want to make it a race? Hey, Chris. 
Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Run, Chris. Now I'm dodging a bunch of spades. Oh, this is just an action game now. Chris, down here. This is pretty good so far. There's just an action sequence where yeah, it's still not a battle, and you're like sliding down a hill, and it's kind of like battle toads feeling. Oh, you're not dead? Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building there. Yeah. Looks like a shop, but the door's locked, and there's no one inside. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty room. The back, the black geyser, emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines with you. Save. Okay. A castle. Where the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive. Final Fantasy. And fulfill <clears throat> the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Y'all yeah, listen very well then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among the shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. For millennial, for millennial, light and dark babbled, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, I have misread something. A terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. And only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels of heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. You got light, you got dark. They can't... can't... 
keep them separate. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you will have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Mm -hmm. Uh, nah, says Susie. What? Mm -hmm. Me? Some kind of hero or something? Mm -hmm. You've got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the, the, the world will... Mm -hmm. So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyways, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. Whoa, and then like some cool dude with like a spade on his face like ran into them on like a motorcycle the heroes are already running away they didn't even know i was here my dad's gonna make me son of the month who the hell are you i'm the bad guy you clowns want to steal our dark fountain huh and still picturing you guys as clowns Saving the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh, don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I trash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Really? Uh, yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Oh, dang it, it's the battle. And I'm gonna use act, because I'm gonna do it pacifistically. I'm gonna compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack par power went down. Um, so Susie's just going to attack. That's interesting. Didn't know how I got an axe, but look, that's cool. Yeah, this is a cool system. Uh. I'll give him another compliment. You try to compliment Lancer again. But he's sees it as insincere. His attack power gets back up. Did you not realize I can mask myself? And they're thinking about chips. I'm gonna warn him. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. So what are you guys doing after this? Well, this game is about being friends. Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Lancer laughs at the idea he would need your help. Woohoo, I'm the bad guy. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Right, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you. Haha, <laughs> bye losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. You got zero EXP and 37 Ds. Are you two okay? Uh, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Mm, alright. Hello everyone, I'm R Ralzel. Chris, Susie. It's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and best way to leave is East, right? Yes, that's where Will got it. 
So yeah, it's cool, Chris. Mm. I suppose it's just the two of us then. Chris, I'm pr a prince, but I currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here mm, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Gonna walk up to the door. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. Relsi is the lonely prince. Is your new ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. It's like a shop, but the door is locked. There's no one inside. Oh, Chris, it's my training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yeah, sure. Okay. Get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul. The culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP loses, uh, reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So, please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Uh, it looks like it has a system where if you're close to it, it like does the thing. I wonder if there's a way I can take advantage of that. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. The fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Oh, sorry, Chris. I forgot to mention, when you're attacking, press Z again when the cursor gets into the box. Oh, nice. Wow, Chris, what an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? Okay, let's try defending. Simply defend, and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because if you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now if I use my pacify spell on it, I'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting the this event is the most violent enemies can be defeated through a various of acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? You hug the dummy. Oh, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has a different act that satisfies them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll have, we'll never have to fight. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. That's, that'd be the end of the real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. You won. Got zero EXP and 3Ds, so... I think it was... I wonder if it was better in the other game that it was, like, trying to trick you. I don't know. If the one listener who was there... I wonder what the, uh, one listener thinks 
of the game just spelling out to you the kind of morality system. I wish it were, you know, a little bit more. Just thinking about Ultima in this game, I like that Ultima's system is more nuanced. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And in case you ever needed a refresher, I here I wrote you a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use any your items. Oh my, the great door is opened. I wonder I wonder when the answer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. The journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can imagine to do that. I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? Can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero. The moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. Got some mother sounds sampled in here. A field of hopes and dreams. Amy is ahead, you're gonna die. Signed, Lancer. Green things about elaborate stones. Green is starting to fall asleep. Chris Baird Rundle, you won, you got 0 XP and 36, whatever. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed the Lancer. Hey, don't read the sign, it's a work in progress. Signed the Lancer. Ho ho, if it isn't my two favorite people. Psych, you guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho ho ho. You fools, you're too late to stop me. What did you do? <laughs> it was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. Is he not my enemy? If you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. These types of trees <laughs> contain a uh, item that will not heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and <laughs> you see to open your menu. You got it, signed Lancer. So get the I take both little candies. And I go to the right.
He lectured the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies become tired. Mamma Miba, I'm top chef. The latest cake worked, uh, worked me to exhaustion, so I took a little nap. But Mamma Miba, a scary noise woke me up. The beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. Spritzed it with water and hissed it and ran off, but my wonderful cake is... Ah, uh, Chris. That sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece. I'm going to take a piece. to flutter all the enemies. Out of anyone, I'm glad we randomly encountered all of you. It is speed slows. Hold the maze of death prepared to get lost clones. Sign the Lancer. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless in all these twisted turns. Your sense of direction won't have saved you now. Sign the Lancer. Some sort of enemy looks like they got clobbered. Whoops. Hey, wait. Where am I? Help. Somebody help, I'm lost. Got a white ribbon. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it'd look great on you. Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I gotta warn you. 
whole pieces from me clobbering everyone who dares block her way. Sob. We don't even like fighting. The king left us no choice. Okay, Chris, you need to stop Susie quick. I don't look. Like this sounds private. But it's just this way, so I need to answer. Ho ho ho, somehow you survived the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how you fare against this team. I got three halfies. It's supposed to be like halfies. Oh, this is really easy. Hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Your bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made of three glasses of milk. And that's, um, unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? We don't need EXP, just in countering your smile is reward enough. Sweet, how much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No. My leader losers. What's up? I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. Uh, you stupid door. Oh great, it's you guys. Susie, you're ever so worried about you. Mm, how do you get past these spikes before? Walk through them. This door sucks. Oh, don't worry, Susie. I'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. You're really saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Sees it back on the team. Cue the fanfare. Susie joined the party. Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. There we go. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how, how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. See you around, attacked violently. 
you recall Rossi's advice to include Susie in an act. T round round attack violently. You recall Rossi's advice to include Susie in an act. Here it's easy to flatter the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? It attacked us. Let's smash it before it moves. Oh, uh, what, Susie? It seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like it. Axe in your face. <laughs> Where'd you get it? <laughs> um, Chris, maybe I should talk to her. You won. I'm getting an XP. <laughs> I sneaked by and it made a sign. Said Lancer. Um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. It's heroes. We have the power to make a peaceful future. Oh my god. Was it the first game like this? So preachy. So from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell, which can put an exhausted people to sleep. Okay, already doing that. Mm, yeah, just think about it. We might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Hey, hey, kid, you want to buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. <laughs> Did I say 50? Well, <laughs> we just want to sell 20, 20 dark dollars. Oh, one, one, one dollar, please. I need this right now. Oh, really? You changed your mind? <laughs> right this way. Gent. Gentlers. Uh, all these little puzzle boys. Whole goals. One dollar monthly tutorial weekly. Sonic and tutorials. I give them a hundred dollars. Donation hole. If you like a tutorial, please throw your money into a hole. Decide the same thing for a different hole. We're sorry, we're n normally puzzle guys, but we've been forced to do tutorials just to make ends meet. And when the king got power, he fired everyone and replaced all the puzzle makers with him. Alex Card, Lord of the Puzzles, be careful. I'm TP Master. Ask me about TPs. A secret. TP only lasts inside of a fight. Once you win, it's out of sight. Having extra fuel is unbearable, so no point in saving. It's straight up terrible. The leftover TP turns into extra money at the end of a battle. You mean I only should have been using one square? Well, I don't have much data left. This is it. 